morning, everybody. My name is Kimberly Haggerty, and I am the head of all things end-to-end -end manufacturing and supply chain for business transformation. Welcome to the Harvard Club and the North Summit 2024. I want to congratulate everybody because you are at the intersection of innovation and connectivity, where it's illuminated by the transformative power of AI. Whether you're joining us in person or virtually, I want to extend my warmest greetings to each and every one of you. And we have a quick reminder for the attendees from Brazil, because we are a global company. If you would like to read the subtitles in Portuguese, please click on the closed caption button below and choose the Portuguese subtitle options. Please also don't forget to send us photos of where you are as you watch our event, and we will be more than happy to share them with all of you later from here. As we embark on this experience, please let us embrace the transformative power of AI to drive positive change and create a future that is both innovative and inclusive. To start this day, I am delighted to call our first keynote speaker, who has been on the forefront of digital disruption for decades, Alex Alexis Rokenbach. So good morning, good afternoon, bom dia, boa tarde. Uh, thank you all for being here with us in person and online. So this is the second time we've brought our annual event uh, here to the Harvard Club of Boston. So being here reminds us of how much we've grown and expanded as a group. Whenever I encounter moments like this, I think of you, our customers, of you, our partners, and of course, of our teams. You are the ones driving this growth. As most of you know, many of our teams are based in Brazil. Roughly 1,000 of them are based in Rio Grande do Sul. And I want to start today by drawing your attention to what has been happening in Rio Grande do Sul in the past two weeks. This is a state in the southernmost part of Brazil. Rio Grande do Sul has been suffering from torrential rainfall. Rivers that cut through the state have risen to unprecedented levels, flooding and destroying entire towns and neighborhoods. More than 140 lives were lost due to landslides, or being taken by impetuous waters. And there are more than 100 missing as, missing as of today. More than 500,000 people, 500,000 people are today living outside of their homes in a state of extreme vulnerability. At times like this, we go through the unpredictable. We are also experiencing the unimaginable in terms of infrastructure, transportation, and mobility issues. And still, what we have seen most, even in the face of so much uncertainty and suffering, is the strength of collective effort. In the state, in the whole country, and from all over the globe, many have mobilized to help others in the best way they can. They have made donations, helped transport people at risk, delivered food and clothing, rescued children and pets. Nobody needed to ask for it. People simply started helping each other. And much of this help 
is made possible also through technology. Through social networks, people have engaged with each other to help the immediate priority of saving lives. Through digital payments, thousands of reais were donated through PIX, the Brazilian instant payment platform. Telephone companies like Vivo, who is here with us today, have made free internet available to ease communication in those regions. Interactive maps were created and shared on the internet to signal future flooding. While saving lives and bringing food and shelter to hundreds of thousands of people is the immediate priority, the reconstruction planning and its execution can't wait. We know that will be a long and expensive effort. And here is where we believe technology companies and professionals like each of us here today can be game changers. Today's event was planned to discuss ideas, to think about and reimagine technology. The North Summit is our annual conference to think about technology, to think about artificial intelligence for the common good. Last year's motto of this event was creativity and technology for more humanity. This is how we truly make a revolution fast forward, using technology to bring people together. So more importantly, in the final stretch of the preparation for this year's event in the last two weeks, we decided our group had the obligation to contribute to the current challenges due to climate change. And we also thought we had to do it with our best. The knowledge of our engineers, data scientists, analysts, and our skills to plan, define, and propose how to use cutting edge technologies to create new solutions that can support these impacted communities. In the process of rethinking and rebuilding their infrastructure, we decided to create the AI Climate Coalition. While dealing with the immediate priority of saving lives, we want also to offer support in using AI technologies to accelerate global severe weather readiness in a much more profound way we've done so far. And we'll do that by collaborating with society and organizations to improve the way we use data, AI models, to help rethink, redesign, and retrofit critical infrastructure that can't be rebuilt the same way it was, because these events, they will keep going on, unfortunately. So we need to rebuild electricity systems, water systems, roads, bridges, more than 50 bridges are, are at this point disrupted in, in that region. We need to be more resilient to these extreme weather conditions. We also decided we should not do that alone. So we've started by joining forces with AWS. And by the way, AWS is the main sponsor together with us in this event today. And I just saw this morning a post on LinkedIn from Andy Jesse around how AWS is supporting these initiatives. So huge thanks also to Kleber Moraes, the managing director from AWS in Latin America, to all the local IT organizations in the state of Rio Grande do Sul represented through Mais Pra Ti. And here, huge thanks to Christian Cavalheiro, the president of Mais Pra Ti, so that we all can join forces and coordinate how we can, in the IT sector, support with our best the next phase of this challenge as well. And we are inviting the whole tech sector 
to be part of that too. If you want to be part of this, or if you know someone who wants to be part or can be part of this, please reach out to us. And of course, also, for the current emergency in saving lives, you can also help with donations. To facilitate that, we have mapped official trusted and government and organizations that are collecting and delivering donations to who mostly needs them right now. So, thank you so much for being here with us. <clears throat> now, I'd like to connect all this to where our industry is going and how we all can be part of building this future ahead of us. So we believe the AI revolution is fundamentally different from all the previous IT tech revolutions we went through in the last few decades. The personal computer, the internet, cloud computing, mobile, they were all disrupting and phenomenal. But none of them had the exponential impact in human productivity as the AI revolution does. We truly believe this is the most profound tech revolution ever. It is already accelerating changes in every single industry impacting the way we learn, the way we work, the way we live. And our mission in every Air Group brand is to become the essential, unparalleled, and global force building safe and scalable AI for and with our customers. We believe AI is a foundational technology designed to augment and perfect human productivity everywhere. So this means we are embracing it everywhere. In every one of our brands, in our different ecosystems, with our amazing global partners, like our main sponsor on today's event, AWS with our tools that I'll talk a little more in the next few minutes, and especially with our amazingly talented team. The hyper-specialized brands in our group are key to our success. Compass UOL, Avenue Code, NVIDIA, Evermind, WebJump, and Edgy focus on very specific technologies and very specific business models and have its own mission to be global leaders in their spaces. And this is the global space we are talking about. Helping customers everywhere to embrace the AI revolution within their businesses, within their technology platforms at the most profound level. Being part of this group also means we are sharing and breathing this air everywhere. This means connecting our AI platforms and solutions to our AI talent and AI mindset. We do that through our 17 innovation studios so we can be ahead of the market, presenting innovation and opportunities, industry knowledge, and relevant and transformational use cases for each industry. Our innovation studios model is also the space where we build our more than 50 accelerators, such as AI metrics, Alexa and Watson assistant integration templates, avataring for AI, AWS managed blockchain hyperledger, track and trace for supply chain and reverse logistics, 
D2E, Data Driven Everything for Financial Service, and many other ones. Now, I'd like to talk a little more about the two amazing platforms our teams have built. The first one, AI Cockpit, is focused on improving the whole software development lifecycle, orchestrating it with all the amazing agents and models that already exist out there. Here, the users are the software engineering teams, both from Compass, from each of the, our brands, and from our customers. The second one is the tool designed to build AI agents by orchestrating the platforms and external components to build more productivity for every other digital worker in every industry where AI and Gen AI can create positive impact. That's me, so Smith OS, and I will talk about it later on. So let's start with AI Cockpit. AI Cockpit is a SaaS platform built by our teams that uses AI to orchestrate models, APIs, and tools developers use in their tasks and activities which are part of the software development lifecycle. It is an evolution from a platform that was uh, developed by Compass Team for the last seven years. Its original name, and some of you here used it, was Agile Cockpit. And it, Agile Cockpit has now become a module inside AI Cockpit called AI Metrics, allowing the extraction of key metrics around the software engineering lifecycle. In the last two years, we have added a vast volume of AI and Gen AI-based features to augment our team's productivity and orchestrate with day-by-day -day tools used by them and by our client teams. Here you can see the AI cockpit platform covering a large range of use cases from requirements gathering to design to coding and to automated testing, deployment, and maintenance. In orange, you see features that we developed to support the overall journey and keep the context during the whole flow. So the context is maintained from epics, stories, initiatives, until code generation, for example. In white, use cases where we support integration with commercial tools like Amazon QBuilder and others. Here we combine AI cockpit features with the best commercial tools in the market. And in yellow, it's the smart engineering component. It operates from extracting business rules from legacy applications, from legacy source code, then generating code based on documentation and boilerplates. And from there, it is used to help generating all the unit testing, automation testing, and the CI CD pipeline. And our revolution in the roadmap keeps growing. Under the hood, we use AWS Bedrock as our AI stack and foundation models as in Tropic Cloud and others. Finally, the AI metrics model, module from AI Cockpit is used to support and understand everything that's going on is happening in each squad, in each development sprint, in each development cycle. On a strategic level, we offer a view with OKRs. These OKRs help CIOs and managers to understand the big picture, showing if their whole organization is in the right path in making the expected progress. So from another perspective, in the management level, we talk about teams. If they are making progress, if they are increasing or decreasing the speed in quality of delivery and compare them. On the operational level, we have more than 40 indicators providing insights and data and revealing potential bottlenecks, impediments, and efficiency metrics of each team. Here, you can see all the sectors 
where today we have clients using AI Cockpit. This is a universal platform, flexible and adaptable to specific scenarios and processes of any industry. So what does that mean in terms of results and productivity? After an intense year of rollouts with our teams, we have some exciting numbers to share. And many of you were here last year when we were launching much of this. So today, 80% of our employees are now certified in AI and Gen AI. Over 3,000 professionals are daily using AI cockpit. And 47% of our top clients are already impacted by AI cockpit efficiency gains. In some activities, like story writing, we became 204% more productive. In coding, 41% more productive. This is very exciting. Huge thanks to all of our teams and customers who have been embracing this rollout together with us. Now I'd like to quickly cover the second platform I mentioned that we'd like to highlight here today. It is a platform to build custom AI agents that impact tasks executed potentially by every single digital worker in the world. And this is SmithOS. SmithOS is Air Group's Gen AI app orchestration platform. SmithOS makes designing, testing, and deploying Gen AI solutions more than 90% faster than manually coding them. It also helps enterprises to bring governance, safety, and accountability, which are essential for Gen AI adoption on a production scale. And that's tough. We know it's, it's very difficult. It also natively integrates to big tech platforms as Amazon Q. And the number of connectors to third-party platforms keeps expanding. In SmithOS, engineers visually design the logic of the application and connect them to any model, data source, tool, or API. SmithOS helps you create multi-agent systems, autonomous agents, APIs, co-pilots, and much, much more. The most relevant feedback we've been getting from the users in this initial phase is the profound impact in their productivity in building agents, which Smith MythOS achieves by making it a much simpler task, while allowing a much better governance and thus accelerating the innovation pace in each of our customers. But I will stop here and leave more about SmithOS for Alexander to be sharing on this afternoon's keynote. I don't want to spoil a lot of what he has to show. So finally, I'd like to say a few words about our secret sauce at Air Group. Air Group companies, secret sauce, is the way we build talent and how we help the most brilliant minds in the industry to keep continuously growing while making extreme positive impact to our global customers, innovation initiatives. More than a year ago, we could not find very well-designed AI and Gen AI certifications, so we created our own learning tracks, tests, and certifications together with our partners. Today, we have more than 5,000 AI and Gen AI certified experts. We also keep investing in leveling the field and building talent globally with our network of more than 130 universities. Last year, we had here the first university that joined the program, UPF from Passo Fundo. Now we operate these partnerships with these 130 universities in more than eight countries, in North and South America, and now also in Africa. This year, 
we are granting 2,000 scholarships, most of them in underdeveloped regions, with brilliant talent that is just asking for an opportunity to thrive. In 2024, more than 1,000 new AI-trained engineers are being hired by our group through these programs. Also, I would like to say a huge thanks to every team member at Compass, UOL, Avenue Code, Invilia, Everymind, WebJump, and Edgy, here represented by our global leadership. And these teams are all joining us online. So huge thank to you. Our main goal is to work together and build the leading AI transformation services group in the world, helping our customers and our talents to thrive in this new revolution. This is a new era. Don't forget, you don't have to be alone. Join us. Let's breathe the future together. Thank you very much.